not just an ordinary blast. This explosion noise was symbolic of not only the loss of lives, but also the beginning of the end. The explosion that forever revolutionized weapons of mass destruction. It was the atomic bomb. Composed of unfathomable energy, this great weapon was the work of the legendary Robert Oppenheimer, who led the Manhattan Project. The whole idea of a nuclear weapon initiated with a discussion Mr. Oppenheimer led, amongst other elite scientists involved in the Manhattan Project. When the shuttle weapon composed of very explosive power, the atomic bomb operates based on nuclear fission, which was told in 239, and nuclear fission when a new China strikes its nuclear. And as this occurs, large amounts of thermal energy and gamma rays are produced which leads to a chain reaction. After the occurrence of fission, one kilogram of uranium discharges enough the energy that are equivalent produced by 17,000 tons of TNT. Let's also note that the energy produced will reach temperatures of millions of degrees which can form an immense fireball. This fireball may even be good enough to spark ground fires that can annihilate an entire small city. All we know the convection current generated from the explosion will probably suck dust into the fireball, which might create the illusion of a mushroom-shaped cloud. The detonation of the bomb may produce a strong shockwave that spreads, that spreads outward from the blast and annihilate and destroy millions of destroy buildings in the vicinity. This successful, this bomb will surely Definitely. Will be Oberheimer's veneration for his leadership involvement with the Manhattan Project is well deserved. Born to an economically blessed family, Oberheimer was able to receive top-notch education at prestigious colleges such as Harvard, where he studied chemistry. With a strong basis of education, Oppenheimer was gifted, versatile, and became a brilliant theoretical physicist. As an experienced physicist, Oppenheimer officially became involved in the creation of the Atomic Bomb Project in October of 1941. With tremendous energy, superb organizing ability, and an uncanny insight into the multitude of problems confronting the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer soon turned Los Alamos into a marvelous workshop staffed by the best brains in atomic physics. The Manhattan Project one of the most controversial human experiments in human history. This was the code name for the U.S. government secret project, which was established before World War II and culminated in the development of the nuclear bomb. The creation of a weapon capable of such destruction was bound to give the U.S. an upper hand. After only one year of joining the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer moved through the ranks and became appointed the leader of scientific research in the project. Carried out in extreme secrecy, the project had nearly 40 laboratories and factories which employed approximately 200,000 people. Among these employees were some of the greatest scientists that have ever lived, who assisted Oppenheimer. The atomic bomb functioned on a nuclear fission in plutonium-239, which goes through fission when struck on the nucleus by a neutron. One kilogram of uranium releases large amounts of energy responsible for the large explosion. A fireball is created, taking the image of a mushroom cloud, which is great enough to obliterate a city. After over two years of rigorous hard work, Oppenheimer and his staff of scientists had designed the world's first atomic bomb. On July 16, 1945, in a desert in New Mexico, the world's first nuclear test, codenamed Trinity, was conducted and ushered in the atomic age. In the dead silence of the morning, the Alamo Gordo had been bathed in an intense flash of a light that man had only seen from the stars. Five, four, Three, two, one. The Trinity success led to the creation of two more atomic bombs that would be used in World War II. In 1945, the United States covert operation known as the Manhattan Project achieved its goal to create the first atomic bomb. After four years of hard work and the spending of $2 billion, the two atomic bombs were used against the Japanese Empire. August 6, 1945, the Enola Gate drops the Little Boy atomic bomb, which detonated on Hiroshima, Japan. After falling for 43 seconds, the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target.
Together, they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. August 9th, 1945, three days following the attack on Hiroshima, an atomic bomb exploded 500 meters above Nagasaki. The fierce blast winds, heat rays reaching several thousand degrees and deadly radiation crashed, burned and killed everything in sight and reducing the entire area to barren field of rubble. In general, though Fat Man exploded with greater force than Little Boy, the damage at Nagasaki was not as great as it had been on Hiroshima. The hills at Nagasaki helped shield portions of the city from the weapons blast, heat, and radiation effect. The explosion affected a total area of about 43 square miles. We knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. People were silent. Strong words spoken by Oppenheimer were indeed reflective of the truth. The world will never be the same. The atomic bomb is the most powerful and destructive force that mankind has ever wielded, and has left a lasting imprint on the world. However, the legacy of this event does not only affect the Japanese, but the whole world as well. It has pulled the rest of the world into the arms race. The race to have the biggest and best weapons first. Conflicts are still continuing because of this. The science and principle of the atomic bomb has been carried on into other weapons of mass destruction. The creation and dropping of the atomic bomb will forever be known as a defined moment in history. It will never be forgotten. But the viewed as a hero or villain, one perspective remains the same. Oppenheimer will be forever known as the father of the atomic bomb.